ominous knocks. Hail the Lord of the Night. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in UK. And this is a new type of segment for this vlog which I haven't done before and I actually kind of regret it. Um, this will be uh, step zero in an uh, upcoming painting uh, review. In a, this will be step zero in an upcoming painting guide. And I would call this the how to assemble a, tra uh, a traitor guardsman or a traitor cultist. So first off, we have at our disposal uh, these four. They will serve as the the ground, the backbone for my painting guide. And let's see what's uh, how, uh, what you have to think of, uh, think about when you're doing. Uh, uh, traitor guardsmen. First of all, you have to make a choice. Should they be traitor guardsmen, which me would mean they are more organized and perhaps better equipped and better armed, or should they be chaos cultists, which would mean they are more fanatical and perhaps more disor disoriented and and less unity in colors and stuff like that. That's a very important choice because there's a very slight difference between them. Uh, cultists usually are regular people who has found a new faith in chaos. Traitor guardsmen are usually, yeah, regular imperial guardsmen who has been dwelt too long with the forces of chaos and later of that turned to the other side. And the main reason because of this is that if you're going for a guardsman, you can use. Um, more unity when you're painting them and that means that you could perhaps use the same type of colors for the uniform which you have here and the same type type of color on the armor which you have here 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 and on the arms you have here 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 yeah. you, you get the point and if you have a cultist you can have then first of all you can use whatever weapons you would like uh, you could use weapons from fantasy, you could use weapons from uh, 40k, you could use weapons from other type of, uh, of wargaming, uh, miniature wargaming, uh, which isn't even Games Workshop. The only problem with that would be that uh, Games Workshop doesn't take too kindly if you use other projects uh, on their tournaments. I think there's a rule that your model has to be at least 70% from Games Workshop for you to use him in a tournament, but I could be wrong, there could be higher. Uh, uh, so just a quick note to you. So, so yeah, so these four will actually serve as traitor guardsmen or renegade militia. And as main weapons I have used regular uh, Imperial Guards uh, Imperial Guards weapon. And as a tip to you guys would be to scrape off any type of Imperial Aquila as you can see on the weapons. Here, here. And then I've used green stuff to fill out on the bodies so they don't have any gaps or something like that. Also, I filled out on this uh, chain sword so it will have a more uneven surface. Uh, the main idea behind that is to make it look um, a bit overused to say so. The next uh, thing you would have to think about is uh, does the arm fit for the, for the character? Uh, one easy step for you guys to, uh, to use when you're doing... There are many ways to do trade with guardsmen which I forgot to mention. Uh, first of all you could either just use a regular imperial guard box and scrape off the markings as I said earlier on you know, and use all the parts from there and then simply paint them chaos and use chaos transfer sheets or you could do as I have done here and use forge world models and then it's very important to check that the, the arms fit the model this character forever for instance he is a bit too thick to use a last gun so that's why I'm choosing him as a aspiring sergeant or a leader for my uh, my traitor guardsman squad 
As you can see his upper forex is a bit too fat. And then I've tried out on the others. Uh, some of these will have to be used the uh, green stuff in the arms. So it's very important that you check out these things before you start gluing things together because it, I did that mistake if you seen my first Trader Guardsman test model. I, I had to redo him a little bit because he did uh, because the arms wouldn't fit. Uh, so th there are many ways how to do trade to guardsmen. This is just one way to do it. Then we have the other way, which is uh, the cultists, and they are they are fun in a way that you can use whatever spare parts you have and put them together. This, for instance, you have Kaden legs, and you have Kadeshan upper body, and then we have a Maxini uh, head, I think it's called, uh, with with gas mask. I think it's called a guardsman with a gas mask. He is supposed to be a, a, a standard bearer, and for that I'm using a blood letter arm and the blood letter banner. Uh, one thing that's very fun thing you can also think about when when you're doing your either traitor guardsman or uh, Chaos Cultist, should there be some mutation or should there be demonic influence, should there be dem demonic possession? Because in that case, uh, you can also add demonic parts to your models. Uh, this I will be painting like he is turning into a blood letter, so he, he will be very reddish in skin tone and stuff like that. Uh, so that, that's another thing that you can think about also. What kind of chaos uh, chaos fraction should this army be like? Uh, my traitor guardsmen, which are in the front, they will be painted red and grey as a as the base colors, and they will have they will they're su supposed to be chaos undivided and uh, following the eight uh, folded path, but they will be slightly more corn corn based in their tactics so they would be more for the chaos god uh, you know, chaos blood god and stuff like that this uh, we already know for instance because he has the banner of uh, uh, of corn so he will be sli slightly corn based as well and if you uh, but if you saw my second test model uh, you would uh, see that uh, there is uh, a way to do it uh, more slaneshi, and that's what I'm gonna be doing with this guy. Uh, what I use for him is a simple, a simple way of using Kadian legs and upper forex. I scraped off the imperial, imperial aquila on his chest plate, and then I used my maxim mini, whatever head. But the head is a bit too small, so that's why I had to fill out with the green stuff uh, in the middle area. And he will be using a regular KDM flamethrower. And as you see here as well, I scraped off the Imperial Aquila. And the other arm. And then the tubes. These you don't have to do so much about because I would imagine Chaos wants warning signs on their tubes as well. Yes, yeah, so, so that, that's just some things to think about. Uh, other things you can also think about would be... Oh, I forgot this one. Uh, a last pistol from my standard bearer. Uh, one last thing to think about is uh, also props. Uh, I, I would imagine that Chaos, Traitor Guardsmen and Cultists would uh, collect trophies and stuff like that. So you could use dead bodies. This one is from Vampire Accounts, I think. So far I'm not entirely certain what I should do with it, but uh, I bought it from bitsandkits.co.uk and now I'm just looking for some imagination what to do with this. Uh, it's supposed to hang somewhere, so it could be placed on a banner or something like that. You could use uh, helmets from uh, Cadian Shock Troopers and destroy them. Um, 
like uh, cut, uh, destroy the markings, uh, make uh, bullet holes as I've done here, and then you can uh, paint them in blood. So it's like they did a headshot on a guardsman and then stole the helmet, or you could use the regular heads as decapitate that heads and stuff like that. So, so yeah. So the first thing you do when you assemble them is to think: should they be guardsmen or cultists? Should they? And then you should think, uh, should there be unities, should, should they have uniforms which are just alike, kind of like the Blood Pact in uh, Dan Abnett's uh, Gone Go series. And then you should think what kind of god would they be following, kind of corn would perhaps go for more r reddish colors, red and black. Slanesh would go for more pink, purple and bright colors. Uh, Sench would be go for more blue, uh, blue, blue and pink colors, and uh, a Nurgle would go for brown, green, and rotten type of theme. Uh, and then you have to uh, imagine: sh should each trooper look alike, despite if they're traitor guard or cultists? And what kind of props should they be using? Should they be close combat or should they be? Uh, distance, uh, distant fighter. Uh, so far, there's only two type of uh, uh, rules you can use for, uh, for these type of models, and that's either the Chaos Cultist in the Chaos Space Marine Codex, or the regular Guardsman in the Imperial Guard list. And when you're using the Guards list, you have to be using them as uh, count as, and then you can't use. Uh, uh, imperial banners as actual rule wise they will only be appearance uh, wise looking more chaotic say so and then you have to think about which kind of chaos god should they be following and should they be following any specific specific or uh, be chaos undivided and should they be some demonic possession some demonic presence and then regular mutation. There's so many things you can think and so many things you can do. Uh, this painting guide is kind of restricted in that way because I only have so many guardsmen paint and show you guys how they could look like. And there are so many different ways. So I'm kind of restricted in that way. So I would try and make all the chaos gods pleased. But uh, just for this uh, step one, so far what I thought about is that I have Traitor Guardsmen, I have regular cultists, so I, I picked up on that step. These five will be painted in a more Cornish way, so we so we favored the god Corn. This will be painted in a more Slanesh way. Then I perhaps will do some Sench and... Uh, I, I don't think I will be doing any Nurgle, because I'm not so good at making uh, Rotten. So I think that's the only Chaos God which I will not be pleasing to say so. And, and in just in that case I want to apologize to the Nurgle fans out there who was expecting Nurgle traitor guardsmen or Nurgle cultist, cultist or whatever. But yeah, so this is just, a, this is just step uh, zero in how to assemble and how to paint uh, traitor guardsmen. I could have done this also with the Chaos Space Marines, which I perhaps will do because I still have many of them left to paint and assemble, so yeah. But this is the first assembling guide for my Traitor Guardsmen, so I hope you enjoyed watching this. Yeah, yeah. anyway, 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 so see you all in step one, I, I, yeah, see you all in step one of this painter guide and you will see how they turn will turn out and what kind of plans I have for them, but this is just a slight intro. So see you in step one everyone.